Well, I, uh, I must say you don't look as happy as you did when you came in. Yeah, well, um, I thought Brenda and I were going to work out some of our differences, but it just turned into a big fight. I'm oh, sorry. Somehow things seem to get uh, a little more complicated when Sonny's involved. Excuse me? I imagine she can do without your editorial input. I sure as hell can. I'm not editorializing. I just call him like I see it. He was only trying to be nice. Well, he should quit trying. Brenda should, too. I have to, I have to apologize for her behavior. No, no, you don't. You're not responsible for her. Well, I should have stifled it sooner, but an hour ago, she really wanted to fix things between them. Well, then she has a rather strange approach. Tell me about it. Brenda seems to get a little crazy sometimes where you're concerned. I've noticed. You know, I, I, I hate it when she goes over the top. But on the other hand, you know, I'm not always a total joy myself. But you are, Sonny, is a total friend. Is that a peace offering for Lily? In your dreams. Where are you going? Out. All right, call me paranoid, but I, I get the feeling you're still mad at me. Which is kind of strange if you think about it, because shouldn't I be mad at you? Sonny, I do not want to fight about Lily again. So let's not probe into the situation, okay? It's okay with me. I don't think we need to fight at all. It's already established that I'm going to stay away from Miguel. If you follow suit and stay away from Lily... Why don't we, we... both stay away from Lily? You, you're still not saying where you're going, sweetie. Welcome to the doghouse. Uh, women, women, women. You can say that again. She misbehaves, and I get the brunt of it. Yes. Funny how they always arrange that, isn't it? I mean, Brenda's mad at me. She, she says she, she wants to mend her relationship with Lily. Balls are over. A conference they work things out that he shows up is willing to give it a try and pow brenda gives it to her now lily would have been down for the count if she didn't have a heck of a lot of starch and where do you fit into this mix brenda requested my presence at the peace making endeavor right so when i as an unbiased observer try to get things right back on track it's pow to me too how do you figure that? I do not figure that. I mean, if anybody should be mad, Luke, I should be mad at Brenda. But you're not, see? Well, I, yeah. at least I know when to let it slide. Guys do, in general. Absolutely. Not only do women insist on constantly building mountains out of molehills, they do it by the teaspoonful. Well, you watch how long she hangs on to that pal. It's too bad she didn't study forgive and forget with you, huh, Sonny? You know, it seems to me that uh, there was a time when the women in my life were recreation, diversion, so to speak. Remember those days? What I'm saying is, you know, this, uh, This relationship stuff is uh, tougher than I thought. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, did Caveman get kicked away from the fire? Because he brought home the saber-toothed tiger? No, man. He bags the cat, drags it back to the cave. Cave woman cooks it, throws in a little garlic and oregano. It's dinner, and she's grateful to do it. Oh, those must be the days. 
Yeah, but what happens to me, right? I stare the snaggletooth demon right in the eye to protect my family the best way I know how. And how does it turn out? I'm out of the cave. I'm sleeping alone in my sister's guest room. I don't know, alone seems pretty damn good to me about now. <sighs> okay, let's see what we got here. Did you ever think I'd wind up with a corsage in my hand looking like a total square? You let a woman in your life, weird things happen. <laughs> here you go. Oh, man, these are to the jag. Arrive in style. Show the little nerds up. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Buy the little kitties a round of soda pop. You're sure taking good care of me. Not as good as you deserve. So, uh... You got your 8 o'clock meds and a new rest for later? Yep, Robin won't let me forget. You sure you're up for this? I think I can pull it off for her sake. All right, don't push yourself, okay? Don't dance any, anything faster than a foxtrot. You don't want to pop your stitches. What's a foxtrot? I don't know. <laughs> but have fun, and I'll, 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 I'll see you. Think we should go to bed angry at each other. Then you better plan on not getting any sleep. Sonny, trying to say I'm sorry. Is that what you were saying when you blew in here earlier and totally dusted me? I was mad. Oh, now you're not? I'm saying I'm sorry. Okay, so let me get this straight. We fight when you want to, and we make up when the mood strikes you. It doesn't work that way, Brenda. I really don't want you to be mad at me. It's not your call. Brenda. <clears throat> up, 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 Mike, Mike. Use your battles carefully, pal. I just did. Well, well, well. Now it's official. You are a real bastard. Did you just hear what I said? You believe this guy? Hey, I'm I... talking to you. I see your jaw flapping, but all I hear is a lot of noise. Get off your high horse, Sonny. You've got no right to treat Brenda the way you just did. That girl deserves better than that. At least I'm not walking on her. No, 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 no. No, you'll just torture her until she leaves you. Nobody asked you. Well, you need to hear this. It's not just Brenda. It's the way you are with me and anyone else who doesn't agree with you. I mean, where do you get off with this arrogant, self-righteous crap, huh? You called yourself judge and jury, and now you've given yourself the power to say who is guilty and who is beyond redemption. And you're a real prince, right? Don't walk away from me! You just don't get it. I am not interested. Of course not. Why should you be? Because all you care about is yourself. And guess what? I'm not going to take the blame for that one. Is there a point to this? Yeah. The point is, we weren't put on this earth to serve Sonny Corinthos. A little compassion is called for. A touch, a touch of human kindness. For you? Ha. Huh. 